Hi everyone, Sharon here again. Welcome to the answer video of the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger, of how to deal with the heat exchanger, is discussed in the theory video of 7.1. Now, before we can um, start with calculating the question, that's calculate the overall heat transfer coefficient in uh, watts per me meter square times Kelvin if the temperature in the small barrel after mixing is 90 degrees Celsius. Before we can start with that, we first have to make a sketch. I already draw a sketch here, and you see that in blue, that's the water flow. And the water flow is going into the pipeline, and it starts with 70 degrees Celsius. And when it goes out of the pipeline, it's 90 degrees Celsius. And in green, you see the gas, and that starts with 400 degrees Celsius. And that's heats up the water. On the right side of the page, you see all the uh, information that's given. The last information we got in the question itself, and that is that the velocity in the pipe is 0 0.10 meter per second. In the theory video, you have seen that we can say here, this is V Q and is u that's the overall heat coefficient where we're looking for times the area times delta t ln as you've seen in the theory lecture you also know that the area is p times d times l because it's the area where the heat is flowing out of the pipeline now we have to set up uh, energy balance, a thermal energy balance. We know that the accumulation is zero and we know that in minus out plus the heat transfer is the energy balance. And where of course the transfer is Vq. So if we write this in another way, we get Vq is out minus in which is the mass flow of the water times the heat capacity of the water times t out minus t in and if we fill in the equation for the heat transfer then then we get the heat transfer coefficient is u times a times delta t ln is the mass flow of the water times the heat capacity of the water times the t out minus t in and we know from the from the theory lecture that delta t ln is the difference of the inside temperatures minus difference of the outside temperatures or the flows in the flows out divided by the ln of the difference in the inflow temperatures divided by the difference in the outflow temperatures and if you want to know what these are then we have to look to the picture and we see that the difference of the inflow temperature between these two is 330 degrees Celsius and the, dim the difference between the end is 310 degrees Celsius because the heat flow of the gas of the temperature of the gas stays 400 and the outflow of the water is 90 degrees Celsius. So if we fill in this one in the delta T ln equation we get 330 minus 310 divided by ln 330 divided by 310 and if you calculate this you get a temperature of 390.9 Kelvin if you write the equation down for the overall heat transfer coefficient we get that this is is the mass flow of the water times the 
eat capacity of the water times t out minus t in divided by the area times delta t ln which is the area where the water is flowing through with a diameter of 4 centimeters because because that's what we have to calculate if we want to uh, transfer the mass flow to the volume flow and so we get the the area times uh, d squared times the flow velocity times the density times the heat capacity times the temperature difference is that the temperature difference and we oh I got this and we divide this by also p but now times the diameter times the length because now we have to use this area the area where all the heat is flowing to that is this one so that's why we have to use this uh, times l um, times delta t ln so if we simplify this we get we can divide this out this out and the pp and we get um, d times v times rho times cp times the temperature difference divided by the length of the tube times the delta of the t ln and if you fill this in uh, we will find that is this is 0 0.04 times 0 0.1 times uh, 4000 times 20 that's the temperature difference divided by the length of the tube is 0 0.6 um, oh I forgot the 4 here of course because this is due to this one it's 4 times 0 0.6 times 320 around 320 that's the delta T ln and we will find a value of around 400 watts per meter square Kelvin thank you for watching this video and good luck with the final exam and I hope to see you in the next MOOC of transport phenomena goodbye